Friends are weighed in on the High Court ruling that declared the process that saw the election of DP President General and other leaders illegal. These say that the court's failure to quash their declaration was to avoid an injustice of not granting a fair hearing. However, some described the ruling as vague. The ruling on Ben Chuanuka versus Democratic Party has sent political and legal minds thinking about how the judge could have declared the electoral process in Gulu Delegates Conference illegal and in contravention of the party constitution but declined to remove the office bearers from the offices. The exponent announced members on a pre-prepared list of the office bearers, including that of Gerard Siranda. In his update, in support of the application, he deponed that the electoral commission chairperson announced members who had not participated in the electoral process. Former president of Uganda Law Society, Simon Peter Chinobe, explains the judge's reasoning was based on the right to fair hearing after he noted that while the party was sued, the two individuals the applicant sought to remove from office, President General Nobat Mao and Secretary General Gerald Serenda, were not party to the matter and the ruling against them would amount to an injustice. So you want to annul my election without hearing me. It would be wrong and improper in law. However, constitutional lawyer George Mosesi, interpreting the judgment, argued that it left speculation to the applicant, asking him to go back to court for remedy he sought. The sentiment is shared with Simon Peter Shinobe, who argued that the applicant ought to seek for solid remedies. Ultimately, it means that those people are not elected. But court fell short of saying that, which I thought was a disservice on part of the applicant. And I think it's one of those cases where the applicant should go to court for consequential orders. The applicant now can uh, use or seek other remedies where the individuals who are complaining about um, uh, are given a chance to be heard. Um, and uh, this can be through the internal party mechanisms or through a variant uh, suit. Council Mosesi reveals that the judge could have been calculative not to rule in a harsh way to those holding the power from an illegal process. Uh, maybe he didn't want to rattle. <laughs> I don't want to, to speculate. Maybe he didn't want to rattle the, the waters. Maybe he thought that. Uh, but then, then again, that would have been a failure on the part of court because uh, courts are under duty to administer justice to all. The two legal brands, however, clarify that for as long as court did not quash their occupants in the office, they remain in leadership until the applicant seeks a remedy that throws them out of office. They still legitimately occupy the same. However, if challenged the proper way, the proper legal way, based on this judgment of court, their positions can be quashed after listening to the evidence that the process was illegal, then naturally the leaders should have been, the court should have given orders that they should vacate office and nullify the election and order for a fresh election. Shamim Nawakosa, NBS, live at nine.